The animation assist is really interesting to explore in Procreate. Today, let's create this melting butter animation. I will show you how easy it can be. First, let's use Molan brush in calligraphy to draw the toast. Refine the shape as needed. Create a new layer to finish the rest part. Close the shape and fill it with a solid color. Use two fingers to enable alpha lock. Use a darker color and increase the brush size to draw the shade. Create a new layer. Let's draw a little smiling face. Now we have finished drawing the toast. Let's add a new layer to draw the butter. Use yellow to draw the top, then draw the bottom part. Select a darker yellow and fill the bottom part. Enable alpha lock for this layer. Use the darker yellow to cover the lighter outline. Let's merge the three layers for the toast. In good actions, choose canvas and turn animation assist. Click on settings in the timeline. I'm having 64 frames per second. For any skin opacity, it's 60%. This allows us to see multiple frames at the same time. Go to the toast layer, turn on background. Then this background layer will stay steady during the animation. Let's animate. The basic of appropriate animation is a new layer is a new frame in your animation timeline. Let's duplicate the butter layer, click on the arrow and stay with uniform. Make it a little smaller. Add a new layer in between, use a lighter yellow to draw the melting part. Now duplicate the second butter layer for the third frame. Merge these two layers, the second frame is done. Select the third butter layer, make it smaller than the second one. Create a new layer below and draw the melting part which is a little bit bigger than the last one. Duplicate the butter layer for the fourth frame. Merge these two layers and the third frame is finished. Now you can see the rules. For the next frame, reduce the size of the butter, draw the melting part bigger than the previous frame. Copy the butter layers for the next frame before merging the layers. With the onion skin, we can see all the frames with 60% opacity. Just keep doing the rest. I'm having 9 frames now. For the last layer, just draw the melting part. Now let's hit the play button to check the movement. So it's not hard at all, is it? Since we are working in a digital environment, there are some tools in Procreate can help us make animation in different ways, and even make the process easier. So stay tuned for the future Procreate animation tutorials. Smash that like button if you have enjoyed this one. Have fun when you create your own piece of animation, and see you next time.